Hi, this is Dana Eklund from the Silmar branch of Los Angeles Public Library. And today I'm going to demonstrate an app that is put out by the U.S. Government Environmental Protection Agency called Smoke Sense. And it is a citizen science project where they're trying to get observations of smoke in your area and how it correlates to health. So you can report smoke that you're, you're smelling or seeing in your neighborhood and um, then report it to the EPA along with your health symptoms, if any. So the Smoke Sense app is on this panel, but first I'm gonna show you the introductory screen. When you first go in, you have to log into the app and put in your uh, zip code and it, this pops up telling you a little bit about what um, you can do as a Smoke Sense citizen scientist. Um, you're getting information about the current wildfire, the, the smoke plumes, which is really great. It'll show where the smoke is heading, and it has some information about smoke exposure and how to protect your health, and you can monitor your air quality conditions and report your smoke observations. Um, you set up a profile with a zip code, which I've already done. So now I'm going to go into the app itself, Smoke Sense. and it's already set up for my zip code. You can see in the top right corner. And um, the top half shows the current air quality index, and that is an index put out by the uh, uh, government to uh, measure good, medium, or, or unhealthy smog levels, including smoke levels. Uh, so what this app is measuring or, or telling and uh, presenting is particles which are bad for the lungs, and ozone, which is also bad for the lungs. So in terms of health, um, particles and ozone are the worst. There's other things they measure, uh, like carbon dioxide, uh, but the, the small particles in ozone is what they're concerned with for health reasons. So uh, this little page explains what the air quality is. Anything 51 and above is not so good, and it gets worse and worse as you go on for the scale. Right now it's telling me in my zip code I have... a uh, uh, part uh, AQI of 13 for particles and 46 for ozone and tomorrow it's going to be 25 for particles and 48 for ozone. So that's just a quick look at the uh, quality of the air um, and I'm going next to the right top square here fire and smoke near me map which is the most useful for finding out where the smoke is headed where the fires are currently. It'll zoom into your area but if you zoom out it'll show a wider area. I'm going to show here uh, all of LA, which shows just a few fires around San Fernando, Fillmore, and Oxnard. There's a few fires burning. It tells you a little information about their measurement there. And also, if you click the eye, it'll give you a guide to the uh, different symbols. The blue circles are very useful because that tells you what the air quality is at certain official monitoring stations. Uh, so in New Hall, which is near where I am, it, it shows the PM means particles uh, that are 2.5 microns across, um, and then the air quality index uh, is 13 and measuring the exact amount of ozone in the air, which is 3.2. Now this is the now view. In the top left corner, you'll see now and future. If you click to future, it's going to show the f not only the future, but where the smoke plumes are. And there's a, on the bottom, you can kind of scroll a video from now to the future to see where the smoke plumes are heading. So that's very useful. I'm going to zoom in to see if there's any smoke around Los Angeles right now. And I don't see any. It looks like the nearest smoke is around uh, um, San Felipe in Baja, California. And you can see where the smoke is right now on this map. And then if you click the play button, it shows where the smoke smoke is heading. And of course, we are seeing a little smoke around LA here in the future view. It'll, it'll have a time running towards the future there. So I'm going to pause that. That's the near me map. I'm going to go back. The left square, top left square, symptom and smoke observations, that's where the EPA is um, asking citizen scientists to report any smoke they see in their neighborhood. And um, they're not firefighters, but they're just interested in the effects of smoke on health. So if you have a smoke observation, you say yes, and then you uh, answer a few questions about the smoke you've seen or smelled. If you don't have any observations, they just want to know 
what your error was like yesterday, which I think was pretty good, so I'm going to keep it at good and save that. And then for health symptoms, did I have any health symptoms, yes or no? I didn't really, but I'm going to pretend yes and show you what they ask for. Uh, have you experienced smoke? Yes. Uh, recently, or I didn't. And these are physical symptoms they want to know about. Scratching, stinging, watery eyes, ear, viral infection, scratchy throat. And it goes down to all that and which days you experience the symptoms. And a few more questions about that. And, and it, what you're using for protection, um, a mask, a respirator, air conditioning, recirculation in your car, you stayed indoors. So you just answer those questions about your health symptoms and that's how they can link smoke to uh, in the atmosphere to your personal health, uh, which is really helpful to uh, gain information for medical research researchers um, finding links between smoke and health. Once you're done there, you save. And then the bottom two squares are just um, more information and trying to get the word out a bit, educating the public. The bottom right uh, corner, Air Quality 101, just has a brief info here. Um, Carmen travels for business a lot. Can she learn about air quality wherever she goes? I'm going to say yes. And yes, it's because you can use that map uh, all over the world to show, um, uh, I, I'm sorry, in, all over the U.S. Um, there's different categories, uh, green, like you saw is good, and it'll show the air quality all over the U.S. So wherever you're traveling, you can find out about your uh, quality of the air. So I'm going to get out of that by saving. And then finally, the bottom left smoke smarts. Um, They're just trying to uh, educate the public about air quality and, and uh, how likely you are to uh, um, take measures to protect your own health. So I'm going to say I'm very likely to heed any warnings. And what do you think how many people heed warnings? And. It's just uh, a few questions about general how you think about policy and what you think uh, uh, we should do about the air quality. And then there's a user response, what other people uh, 